Hey guys, Bryce Altus here, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Connect Clip to stream audio directly from a desktop or laptop computer into your ears through your Oticon hearing aids. I've said it before, but the Connect Clip is a surprisingly versatile piece of technology from Oticon. It can function as a remote control, a remote microphone, and as an intermediary Bluetooth device. The intermediary Bluetooth device functions of the Connect Clip mean that you can have hands-free phone calls when you pair the Connect Clip with your cell phone, but you can also pair the Connect Clip with other Bluetooth-enabled devices such as laptop or desktop computers meaning that you can listen to audio directly from those other Bluetooth sources directly into your ears through your Oticon hearing aids. Before we can start using the intermediary Bluetooth device functions of the Connect Clip, we have to first pair the Connect Clip with your hearing aid. If you're not sure how to actually do this, or if you want to learn a little bit more about the remote microphone and remote control capabilities of the Connect Clip, be sure to watch one of my previous videos where I demonstrate these features as well as show you how to connect the Connect Clip with your hearing aids. Once we connect the Connect Clip with your hearing aids, we can then use the Connect Clip to connect to other Bluetooth enabled devices. For today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how to pair with a laptop computer, which is a Windows laptop computer. So without any further ado, let's get started. To start the pairing process, we need to put the Connect Clip into Bluetooth pairing mode. And to do this, we have to ensure that the Connect Clip is turned on and paired with your hearing aids. Press and hold the multi button on the Connect Clip until you see a green indicator light, followed shortly by a blinking yellow indicator light. The blinking yellow light will become solid yellow once the connection between the Connect Clip and your hearing aids has been established. Next, you need to hold the multi button and the plus button at the same time for approximately six seconds until you see a blinking blue indicator light. The blinking blue indicator light signifies that the Connect Clip is now in Bluetooth pairing mode and is searching for other Bluetooth devices to connect to. The Connect Clip will stay in pairing mode for about three minutes, so we will have about three minutes to complete the pairing process, or else we'll have to start all over again. Next, on your computer, you'll need to go to the Bluetooth settings. Depending on your computer and the version of the operating system that you are using, the way that you get to your Bluetooth settings might be slightly different. For this Windows laptop running Windows 10 operating system, you can get to the Bluetooth menu by clicking on the Start button in the lower left hand corner of the screen, and then click on the Settings, which looks like a little gear. From here, then click on Devices. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on, and then click on the Pair New Device button. Then you want to specify what type of device you're going to connect to. For our purposes today, we're going to click on Bluetooth device. Now you should soon be able to find that the Connect Clip is listed at the bottom of available devices that you can now pair with your computer. Click on the name of the device, and then if you are prompted to, enter the code 0000 for a Bluetooth pairing code. The blinking blue light on the Connect Clip will then become a solid blue once the pairing process is complete. You can then click Done, and then you'll be able to see the Connect Clip listed as an available Bluetooth device on your list of connected devices. From now on, whenever you turn on the Connect Clip and the Connect Clip is within about 30 feet of your laptop computer, the Connect Clip will first pair with your hearing aids and then pair with Bluetooth to your computer as long as the Bluetooth on your computer is turned on. This connection will now let you listen to movies or YouTube videos or just listen to music from your computer being streamed directly into your ears through your Oticon hearing aids. When you first turn on the Connect Clip, you'll see the indicator light on the Connect Clip start to blink yellow like before then turn solid yellow once the connect clip connects with your hearing aids. Then you'll see the solid yellow light change to a solid blue light once the connect clip then connects with your computer or any other Bluetooth enabled device. Now, if I pull up a video on YouTube, you'll see the solid blue light change to a solid orange light, signifying that the connect clip is receiving audio from the computer and sending the audio directly into my hearing aids through the connect clip. You can then adjust the volume of the audio being streamed from the computer using the plus and minus buttons on the Connect Clip itself. 
You can also stop the video or the music being played on your computer by giving the multi button a quick press. But if you want to resume the video or the music that you were just previously listening to after you stopped it, you'll have to go onto the computer itself and then click the play button. If you have any questions about anything that I went over in this video, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. But until then, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for future content you want me to cover in a future video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks.